For once, friends, we are doing um, this at home because I went and picked up the stuff from storage. These are, these are, I guess I should say, this is green tea, extra, extra large. Found this at the Goodwill outlet. I will put the listing on the screen and what it sold for. <laughs> By the way, I just got back from my bachelorette party from Miami. So that's what you're seeing. My sweet maid of honor made everybody personalized cups. Um, to go baggies with like hydration IV and sanitizer and mine is still stocked and then we went to a show it was really fun that's some of us there it was very fun it was very <laughs> exhausting it was a lot of people but we had a great time so that's what you're seeing on my dining room table but um, I got these at the Good Wallet. They sold, and I'm happy. It's new with tags. I don't know that I've ever sold green tea. From what I can see online, it's a brand that a lot of people like to wear for casual wear, at, kind of like athleisure, but it's also really popular for yoga. So happy to see this. So these new in-box Lulu's um, pull-on sneakers sold. Brand new, never been worn. But they have a defect. They have a small little spot on the front on each shoe. So I did put that in the listing, but I did just message the buyer. I was gonna ship these out. But I was like, you know what, let me just confirm, cause I don't know if you guys know, but sometimes buyers, they don't read the descriptions. I know that's very common, but the biggest thing is a lot of people don't even look at all the photos, you guys. And I just realized that the photo with the spot was like in the middle of my 20 photos. I take a lot of photos. A lot of you have been asking me to see how I take photos. You guys, I wasn't going to do a video on it. It's very simple. <laughs> I use one ring light and I just take photos with my phone most of the time. It's literally nothing fancy. I mean, I can show you, but I feel like if you've watched one reseller YouTuber that does photos, you've seen it all. Like, that's literally... I'm probably even more basic than that. I put a command hook on the wall, a hanger, I use a ring light, my cell phone, and I just take photos. But if you guys want, I'll show it to you. It's nothing fancy. And then anything that's like super big or that I feel like just looks better laying down, I'll just put it on um, the floor. I make sure my floor is clean, put it on the floor and photograph it there. That's literally all I do. And I point my, my ring light down at the floor. That's it. And I use a white background with photo room, not sponsored. I wish it was. That's literally all I do. It's nothing fancy. So um, I'll wait to see what the buyer says. I paid five bucks for these. I think she paid 25 or 30. So I'm not going to ship these out. I'm going to wait and see if she's okay with that. I don't, I just want to confirm that she actually saw that defect in the listing and in the photos. This is a Notori bra. This bra, um, is actually pre-owned and I notated that. I showed, you know, that the tag is like semi fading. Um, but People need bras, you guys, and if they're in pre-owned good condition, I will pick them up. I got this at the Goodwill outlet. I paid about two bucks for it. I am happy to see that go. I have on my, I always call it a cast. That's not what it's called. I forget the technical name, but um, this is a heavy duty one. I have, I, I don't know, in the mommy world, they call it like the breastfeeding hand or something. Anyways, my kids are huge. And while I was nursing, my thumb started hurting. And then also while I was nursing, I was packaging up sometimes like 100 packages a day. So it's not technically carpal tunnel, or maybe it is. I kind of self-diagnosed myself. But anyways, I get severe, pretty like severe pain that shoots up my thumb all the way to my wrist if I have to package like more than 10 items. And today I'm packaging about 40. None of this is life sales, you guys. These are all listings. I'm putting them on the screen. Um, so I just say that because a lot of people think, oh, well, she's just a life seller. No, friends. I am listing every day, seven days a week. Anyways, nonetheless, anytime I have to package more than 10 items, I have to put this on. I don't know. The pain, it, it's weird. It's like intermittent. Um now that I'm done breastfeeding, it's kind of gone away, but then it's just, yeah, like I said, when I have to do a lot of shipping, I need, there's like a wire, not a wire, a piece of metal in here that forces you to like keep everything in 
the right position. And it helps a lot. I just share this in case any of you suffer the same thing. Um, one of my friends that's a reseller that does way more volume than I do, like 200 packages a day, he was telling me, he's never breastfed, he, he was telling me that he had the same problem and this helped him a lot. My mom also had the same issue. It helped her a lot. So I just share that with you guys um, because it, you might find it helpful. I, I should probably see someone because it's not going away and it started with my first son three and a half years ago. So I might get that checked out, but I will leave a link to this down below or one that's comparable. They're pretty affordable on Amazon. And I share that with my reselling friends in case any of you are going through this as well. I think I've shared that before, but I didn't go into detail um, about it. So just FYI, I'll link it down below. This one I remember filming with you guys when I picked up at the Goodwill outlet. It had a little stain it has a little stain on it. This is the great, this is a brand I've always heard people talk about that I wanted to sell. I did note the stain, I did take clear photos of it. So hopefully all is well. Very cute jacket, I thought of keeping it, but it's not, I was trying to make it my style. It's super cool, I'm just not this cool, you guys. So <laughs> I decided to not keep it, but really nice style. Um, they do vanity sizing size zero and this sold pretty fast. I just filmed when I was at the Goodwill outlet and I got this less than three months. I know I've had this less than three months, so happy to see it off to its new home. I did it again, friends, I'm sorry. I was in the groove with packaging and watching Twitch that I forgot to show you. This is an Alexander Wang, or, sorry, this is a tea by Alexander Wang, which I think is like a diffusion line, more casual line. T-shirt, this sold for $40. You know, I never remember. I know I made a great profit. I paid $4.50 for this, and this sold within two weeks, so I'm super happy with that. This is another piece that I was going to keep, and I'm glad I did not because I don't need another T-shirt, and I will be on the lookout for this brand. The, selling this so quickly reminded me of how I do find this quite a bit um, here locally and I should look up comps. I've passed on it a lot because in the past when I've looked up comps on certain things, um, they don't sell very quickly, but this t-shirt did very well. So I think a lot of the T by Alexander Wang, is it Alexander Wang? Yeah, I think it's T by Alexander Wang. A lot of the stuff I was finding before were dresses, but this was just a 100% cotton t-shirt and it sold within two weeks. So. That is a reminder to myself and to you if you ever find this brand. I actually just had three sales come in while I was packaging up. So I don't have them here. They're in storage, but I will put the listings on the screen and let's go through those because some of those were some really good sales as well. This is a new Italic Skims piece. This is a soft smoothing t-shirt. Some of you are tired of me saying this, but a lot of people don't know. Skims is Kim Kardashian's clothing, shapewear, intimates wear line. This is a sold out line. It's called the Soft Smoothing. It literally is the softest, smoothest fabric. It's so flattering on all body types. I love it. Here are those stickers that I always link in my description box. I love these because it kind of prompts people to leave you a review, which is super helpful, you guys. It's I mean, I feel like it's not as important on Poshmark, but it is very important on um, eBay. So, love these stickers. I always link these down below. Get them on Amazon. A lot of my supplies, you guys, I get on Amazon. So, this sold for a lot. $65, $70. It sold for over $60, and I've only had this listed a week. Anytime I buy my Skims palettes, I wish... I am manifesting and praying for a Skims palette of just Skims clothing and all of it being this line. It always sells so fast. And every time I buy like hundred, hundreds of pieces of Skims, you guys, I probably get like five of these and all of the like 300 pieces. So it always sells fast within like a week or two. This was a very popular line from them. And when they do bring it back in stock, it literally sells out overnight. So this sold for me in less than a week. So I'm really happy about that. All right, I thought I would actually <laughs> show myself on camera, continue the conversation we were having while doing a thrift haul. Um, some of this stuff I am going to sell in a live sell. Some of it I am going to photograph and list. Some of this stuff is already listed 
and I am either going to um, take it down and relist it or sell it in a live sale. I don't know. Um, if you are new here, I um, I just realized I don't have my ring on. And every time I film without my ring on, one of you will DM me on Instagram and be like, Is something going on? Are you not getting married anymore? We are T minus 30 days to the wedding. I'm still getting married. I just don't like wearing it when I'm cleaning, you guys. Anybody else? I'm new to this. Um, I'm not newly engaged, but I'm new to wearing an engagement ring. And it ju I just don't like it when I'm like washing dishes or cleaning the kids' rooms. So I take it off. And I was telling my best friend that on the bachelorette party. And she was like, I never take my ring off. I was like, never? She said when she goes to the pool, whether she's scrubbing the floors with Clorox, she never takes her ring off. And I was like, well, good for you, boo, because I can't do it. Anyways tangent but let me know down below do you ever take yours off I thought that was like common but I don't what do I know I'm new to all of this so yes we're still getting married I just was cleaning so um I what I was going to say before I got distracted is that I do inventory twice a year inventory for me what that means is I go through all of my listings I go through every single bin and I look on eBay and Poshmark to make sure it's listed, to see how long it's listed. When I list an item um, in the SKU, I put the date that it was listed. I usually put how much I paid for it. Um, and occasionally I'll put where I got the item from. I just stopped doing that because the SKU was getting really long. Um, so I'm currently in the process of doing my inventory for the first time this year in 2024 and some of the stuff I delisted and I am going to see if I want to sell it in a life sell or I will relist it. I do that twice a year every single year you guys. Um, so I'll either take it down and then relist it on eBay. I don't do relist. I do sell similar because so many people, I don't know how true this is, but so many people have said that if you just do relist it doesn't bring new life to the listing and if you do sell similar it actually does like cue the algorithm in eBay to basically think this is a brand new listing you're just selling something similar I do think it's accurate you guys because every time I do inventory I'm getting not only my 10 to like 30 new listings up a day I'm also doing like 20 to 30 uh, sell similars and the sales rank up like way up every time I do inventory because it's an extreme amount of listings even for me you know it's not me creating new listings and taking new photos but it's like 10 or I usually do 20 to 30 um, D list and then sell similars plus my new listings so it's a lot of listing for me so it works for me I don't find it to be a waste of time and I will tell you most of the time you guys I find stuff that's just not even listed anymore. I don't know what happened because I do this twice a year. I really don't know what happens. But when you have almost 1,300 active listings, it's just bound to happen that a couple things just go missing. Like I've been doing inventory and I've so far I've found like 10 items that just weren't even listed. I found, that, <laughs> this is super random. I found this super expensive like G-string thing with rhinestones in it, new with tags. It's from the brand Blue Bella. It's sold at Revolve. And I think I've seen it sold at another high-end department store. I looked it up. It retails for 100 bucks. It was just in the bottom of the bin, not even listed. I don't know if I threw it in there and thought, oh, I'll list that. I have no idea. So that's why I really find it helpful to do inventory. One, to keep track of my inventory. Two, to see what's selling, what's not, how long has this stuff been listed. Let's bring some new life. Um, I will do that multiple times before I get rid of an item, you guys. Um, if I took the time to photograph, to list fill out all the listing information. I really try my hardest to sell it and I'll just keep lowering the price over the years until it sells. Case in point, if you saw the most recent video where I had that Revolve bodysuit that took five years to sell, I just kept relisting it every six months, lowering the price a little bit. Sometimes I will do new photos and it really does help. So I tend to move through 100% of my inventory that way. Um, it's very, very rare that I will get rid of something unless I find like, oh, there's a flaw I missed or there's a defect I missed or something like that. Or if I've just had something for an astronomical amount of time. But if I know eventually it's gonna sell, like I knew that Revolve bodysuit would eventually sell. It was brand new, perfect condition, and it was still a trendy style. So 
this video is long. You guys said you like these long videos. You just put me on in the background and you said you like it. So I'm just going to keep doing it, okay? Let's do a haul and keep talking. This is um, La Blanca. This is sold at Nordstrom and I believe other department stores because I've seen it other places. Here's the brand tag. This is new without the tags. Really cute one piece. It, um, oh no, I just realized I think it's missing a strap. So it's got the crisscross detail in the back, but I think there's supposed to be a strap here. Oh man, I was actually going to list this because it still has the little plastic barb and it's in great, I mean, this looks like it's never been worn. So I wonder if I love, this came in a Nordstrom palette. I wonder if I lost it in the palette. That is a very easy fix though. I feel like you could get any piece of string fabric and put that through here. It doesn't necessarily have to be red. So I might still list this. I don't know. Maybe I'll sell it in a live sell and just disclose that. I'm not sure. I do have quite a few pieces from the Miami thrifting. And I don't know if I want to show you guys that before you actually see the thrift videos because I think this is going to go up before you see those. Just let me spoil for you. <laughs> I scored at the Goodwill in Biscayne. I think that's what it's called. Any of you that live near there, any of you that live in Miami, I recommend that you go there and thrift every day. <laughs> they have, it was just so easy. I was finding amazing thing after amazing thing. Like it was just like, Picking, picking strawberries. It was so easy. I haven't had such easy, awesome thrifting like that in so long. Not a big fan of the Goodwill outlet in Miami. You'll be seeing that video coming soon. That was a wild experience. Let me turn my ringer off. But yeah, um, you guys know I don't usually tell you thrift locations like where I go, but I do have to tell you because I don't know when I'll be able to go back. I was literally like calculating in my head. Can I like fly back there and just thrift for like two weeks and take the kids or something. I loved that thrift store. I don't know when I'm going to go back. I live all the way on the other side of the country. Amazing stuff. I'll show you a couple of the pieces that I got for an amazing deal. This is Betsy Johnson. Look at, I don't know if you can see it because I'm there you go. Look at the pearl detail on this dress. This dress is in amazing condition. It's navy, bu navy, boo, navy blue. It has some stretch to it. I love the collar. I found some sold comps for this dress. Anywhere from $100 to $150. I love this. What size is it? It's a size 6. I'm a fan of Betsy Johnson stuff. Um, she does some like quirky stuff, but I, I like it. I like the shoes. I love this dress. It's very thick. It feels like it's really good quality. And this was just sitting in the dress section right when I got there. It was amazing. Love, love, love that thrift store. This one is a size two from Lululemon. This is one of the few pieces I found at the Goodwill Outlet in Miami. And it was just laying on a bin that was completely picked over. Um, yeah, and it's in great condition. I, I don't know, you guys. I don't do so great with listing Lululemon anymore. It just does not have the same allure that it used to. Um, I still do good selling it in live sales, so I'm probably gonna live sell this, but like I have so much Lululemon stuff that has just been sitting listed for so long, you guys. This is a blank NYC jacket. It's got like that suede feel. This is brand new with the tags, has the drawstrings. This is a size small, but this is definitely oversized. And that, this is another one that was just, this one came from the Goodwill that's right next door to the outlet. I, that's the town I cannot pronounce. It's Telaputa. I, it has a long name, you guys. It's in Miami. I don't know how to pronounce it, but, but it, this is a location where there's a Goodwill outlet and then right next door, there's a much nicer air conditioned traditional um, Goodwill store. And that's where, I'm pretty sure that's where I picked this up from, all right, I'm gonna stop with the Miami stuff because there were some great pieces in there, but I don't wanna spoil it. So um, let me show you one more and then I want you to check out those videos. Those videos will be coming up. I thought I was gonna be able to film a ton, but 
I stayed a little bit longer in each location than I thought. So you'll probably just get like one or two really long videos for Miami. Found some Goldie jeans. These are size 27. They're distressed. They have some stretch and they are skinny. I'm probably going to lift those. Um, all right. So I wanted, oh, I found this one just laying in my money pile, as they say. This is Cinca Set which means five to seven in Spanish, it's not Spanish, in French. Um, this is size 12. It is a black tube top dress and it has a peplum bottom. I just found this in my storage unit, you guys. This dress retails for hundreds of dollars. This is definitely pre-owned. There's no flaws or anything, but you can just tell it's been worn. I thought that this would be great to get listed because, you know, wedding season's coming up. People have graduations and things, and I feel like that would be a really nice, dress to wear. So I am actually going to photograph that. I have some more stuff down here. Um, I can't remember if I've shown you guys this stuff. These videos are starting to blend together. This is Saint Tropez. This is 100% linen, brand new with the tags, top. Um, yeah, some of this stuff, I know I haven't shown you the Miami stuff, but then some of this other stuff, I'm like, have I shown you this or not? I can't remember. I wanted to continue talking about the stock photos because just like as a little precautionary tale, I guess. Precautionary? That's not cautionary tale. What? You guys, I've been up since 4 a.m. I'm filming this at 2.30. At this point, everything's a blur. It gets a little blurry, a little fuzzy. Um, I have been using stock photos, I'm just going to be honest, since I started reselling. And when I first started reselling, I didn't know that you could get in trouble for using stock photos. Like I said, I just thought, well, they're online, they're public domain, I can use these, you know. It wasn't until I got my first Vero on eBay, which is basically like a policy violation um, for different things uh, that you can get. And I have only received a Vero for using stock photos from different brands. So I believe the way it works is like the brands have, you know, technology that scour the internet and know, oh, somebody's using our stock images and they let eBay know, hey, we don't like that. And they give you like a slap on the hand. My first Vero I got was like mm -hmm, five years ago. And it was for, I think it was like a Talbot's dress. And they basically said that, you know, you're using the stock image. And I think what happened was they said that I couldn't list anything new for three days, but I could still have sales, um, but I just couldn't list anything new. So I was like, oh no, that's horrible. So then I, this was before I even knew about reselling on YouTube, resellers posting videos. This is Dress Forum, Los Angeles, really cute floral kind of silky feeling um tunic top so i just went on the internet and apparently that's a that's a no-no you know you can't just use people's photos that you did not take so when i went on youtube and i researched i was like oh wow so many people feel so so differently about this and that's why i've honestly avoided the question because it's a polarizing topic and a lot of people feel like you really shouldn't do it or everybody else is doing it, why not? Or, yeah, I don't know. So I always, when people ask me, I do I do just try to avoid the question, but if you pin me against a corner, I always tell you guys, I'm not telling you how to run your business. I said this earlier. I'm just telling you what I do, and I try to be as honest as I can with you guys about what I'm doing. Um, and so I do use them. And I think you just need to be careful. There's like people have created list of brand list of brands that are known to like go after people for using their stock photos. I've heard some people say that some brands go after them on Poshmark. I will say in five years of selling on Poshmark, I've never ever had anyone knock on wood tell me not to use a stock photo there. It's only ever happened on eBay with Talbots, J. Crew. Correct me if I'm wrong. Aren't they under the same owner? I feel like. I read that somewhere. J. Crew, Talbots, and one time Skims, which actually shocked me because I've been selling Skims for a couple years now and I have a lot of stuff listed and they only went after like one listing and they were like, you can't use that stock photo. So 
I don't know. So basically when new sellers ask me, I tell them like for sure, I don't think you should. But honestly, you know, it's really just up to you. I will say, like I said, I, the reason I use them sometimes is because I feel like people are more likely to buy things if they can visualize the item and see it on a person. Um, but I do have some reseller friends that absolutely refuse to use stock images. And good for them. That's awesome, you know. I am not one of them. Avec la fille. I cannot sell these shorts to save my life. I've tried listing these. I've had these for not that long, like five months, but I've also tried to sell these on a live sale multiple times and no one buys them. Um, this brand is not super affordable. Um, it's their 100% cruelty-free faux leather pant, uh, shorts, size 2X. So I think this is going to be one of the items that I um, do sell similar and just wait for the right buyer to come along these might take a little while to sell but they're just buttery soft really stretchy with the elastic band short i wish my camera would tell me how long i've been filming because you guys these videos are getting so long because i'm just you know talking to you guys talking about different reseller related things doing hauls and then before i know it while i'm editing the video i'm like oh my goodness this video is like 50, 50 minutes long, but my camera doesn't tell me. I guess it just wants me to keep talking. This is a Skims Seamless Sculpting Bodysuit. Got this in my Skims palette. Skims, the pricing has gone through the roof. When I first started selling Skims, this bodysuit retailed for $60. It now retails for $70. Actually, I think it retailed for $55. It retailed for $55. It now retails for $70. Um, so, yeah, that's just everything's everything's going up friends this is a current elliot um tank this is a size zero current elliot retails for a lot doesn't always resell for a ton i recently sold a current elliot tank top that was white on a live sale for 30 dollars, which isn't bad um because honestly if i were to list it i wouldn't expect to get much more than that this one is new without the tags uh i might list this see if i can <laughs> i'm laughing because i was just thinking see if i can find some stock images for this so people can visualize what it looks like on oh boy yeah so i will probably list that we have some athleta leggings athleta is one of my favorite um athletic wear brands this one needs to be lint rolled these are a size small they're black cropped leggings super soft um what do we have here this is a nice sweater oh i love athleta you guys they have started making a lot more clothing this is a very thick stretchy knit oversized athleta sweater this is the more recent tag and this one is a size Small. I do find quite a bit of Athleta because um, we have some stores here. Not a ton, but we have a couple brick and mortar stores here. And I think they're based out of San Francisco or something. I know they have like a, I don't know if it's a warehouse, but like the warehouse slash corporate office here. And I think they have one up north. So I do kind of find it quite a bit. This is an item that I was going to sell similar this is a hundred percent silk skims bra it's brand new with the tags it's kind of tricky to show you there you go it's meant to be like a sexy little piece no padding no wiring or anything and it's a hundred percent silk so i was going to take some new photos of this because i didn't really like the photos in the listing and so similar so not all the time do i like take new photos of things that are already listed but sometimes if I'm just looking at the listing I'm like oh, was I in a hurry taking those photos because those don't look the best I will retake the photos here's another thing that I want to retake the photos I feel like because this is a really nice bright white color it kind of looked yellow um, on the photos I have so I'm just gonna hang this up so I can Relist it and this is a skims tank top brand new with the tags this has been listed for about six months so yeah just proceed with caution you guys if you 
use stock photos and if anybody makes you feel bad for using them because some some people when I first started reselling after a couple years and I mentioned that I was doing it, it really made me feel bad about it don't feel bad just be careful how do you be careful like I said maybe watch those videos look out for the list of brands that um, specifically go after people for using the images or don't use it you know, if you feel bad about it, if you feel like icky, if you feel scared or worried, don't use stock photos. Plenty of people, plenty of people um, are great resellers without ever using a stock photo. So don't think I'm like saying that you can't make sales because I'm not if you don't use them. If it just gives you the icks or you're really worried about it, I always say follow your intuition. Don't use them. And I'm sure... We will hear from people in the comments that are like, I have never used stock photos in 20 million years and I make a million dollars a year. <laughs> I'm being facetious, but you know what I mean? There's plenty of people. So sound off in the comments. Also, please tell us if you've never used stock photos, um, let us know. I, I will say I don't use them on every listing, you guys. You can go and look at my Poshmark closet. I don't use stock photos on everything. This is Robin Picone. This is a size large bikini bottom this is brand new without the tags really pretty what would you call this color tell me in the comments down below I was gonna say maroon but I feel like this is a little too light for maroon I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one I don't know if I'm going to list it or yeah I don't know I'll keep you posted that what that's another one I just randomly found in my um, stash. This is Sam and Lavi. Here's the tag. Sam and Lavi. This is a really cute. It's got the ruffle neckline, black little mini dress, size small. It's really nice. And this is 100% cotton. All right, we should probably <laughs> stop here, you guys. I feel like this video is so long. Hopefully you enjoyed, found something in here helpful. Let me know your thoughts on anything down below. Gosh, we've talked about sales. We've talked about stock photos, broken fingers, breastfeeding. <laughs> These videos are all over the place. We talked about my bachelorette, but hopefully you enjoyed. And I will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. I am here multiple times a week.